It's mid-February, and there are 1,600 tons of muck to spread on stubble fields ready for spring cropping. All of the muck is spread in the spring, and it's now dry enough to make a start. The crop rotation is such that the whole farm receives muck every three years. Thomas is using the 100 horsepower John Deere 6400 with a 12.6 tonne Bunning Lowlander spreader. Spread width from the two vertical beaters is about 10 meters, although passes are overlapped to ensure an even coverage over the whole field. The 6400 treads extremely lightly with stocks, dual wheels fitted all round. These will remain on the tractor now until all spring work is finished. mid-February and we're spreading a mix of laying hen and cattle manure straw based. We're applying very very close to our field limit of 250 kilograms per hectare of nitrogen. Uh, we base that on the weight of the muck that we place on the heaps and an analysis of the manure that's done every three years. We're using a Bunning Lowlander spreader which we hire in from Ben Burgess who we have a very good relationship with and this is our 6400 100 horsepower John Deere or I should say it's my 6400 because it was new when I was 14 years old and I was the first person to get in and drive it and I tend to have been using it pretty much every year since baling, sugar beet harvesting, muck spreading I get it on a trailer as well if I get the chance I drive it home if I got the chance I love the old thing lovely tractor and uh, it's just about got enough power for this 100 horsepower got lots of gears so we can set the speed nicely it's been a fairly reliable tractor, uh, it's done nearly 8,000 hours now, very little trouble really, had a couple of little engine faults and a couple of gearbox faults which were done under recalls, um, but as you'll probably see we run mainly green machines and there's a reason for that because like, we find them to be very very good. This is our Sanderson telehandler, a little bit unusual, a GX525 articulated machine, Perkins 110 horsepower engine in it. Uh, we bought it second hand in 2001. It's a 98 registered, 96 build machine. We're not entirely sure why, it must have sat around a little while in the factory. Uh, built in Grantham by what was the Avalyn Barford company, uh, but this was actually sold as by class when they owned the Teleport Company. It's been a good machine, it's uh, in pretty much daily use, done nearly 9,000 hours now this one, which uh, is quite a, quite a good number for a telehandler. Uh, not the most reliable machine, but uh, we, we like it, it suits our needs well with the articulation, it's a good strong machine. <laughs> 